Good morning. I'm a little bit late this morning. A couple of technical issues. Got my clothes in the washing machine. It's over 40 degrees here. <laughs> in the heights of the day, and the heights of the sun. I didn't check how cool it gets in the evening time, but probably mid-twenties. Not too many people out this morning because last night there was a concert here and went very late. Most of us priests were not at the concert. We were simply in personal conversations with people who wanted to chat and talk. People go through a lot in uh, pilgrimage internally. They're processing a lot of impressions. They're checking up about their life. They're realizing that grace is knocking at the door. The encounter with all they learned as children. Since they were toddlers, we all come here to the Holy Land. And there's a real, there's a powerful reality check. We had a barbecue here last night. It was a bit wild with the wind. Everything cleaned up. It's amazing, a whole team working, you know. You have about 500 people here having, having a barbecue. And it's almost like nothing happened here. There are some things still to be cleaned up, but it's really amazing, isn't it? Good spirit, helpfulness, good staff. Everybody playing their role. This gear is here because of that as well, so there's still more work to do. All the support there is for an event in our lives, any event that happens, and we often take it for granted. We paid our tickets, so I have a right to have all this. So many people work to make things happen, celebrations happen, pilgrimage happen, even our breakfast, you know. Most of the farming community, 50, 60, 80, 100 years ago, and some more recently, were almost completely self-sufficient. Everything was grown at home, raised at home, processed at home, cooked at home. And now we're able to choose foods from that come from different countries and they're fresh fruit foods like fruit and um, other foods, fish and we take it for granted. All the people that provide things for our homes, piping, electric cables, all the things in our lives, there's so much so much, so much, so much is provided by so many people. We're so interconnected. And the surprising thing is we can also become very independent and very, you just see the world from our little perspective. We're all very interconnected and very interdependent. It's amazing. So touched by the, by the word of God, and location in a pilgrimage. People can also rethink their lives and maybe start on a path toward reconciliation. That light comes in, overwhelming for some, a struggle for others, a resistance interiorly. All the path of God's people through history in every heart and soul resonating. Interesting how we human beings are. And today we're looking at one concrete person who was a fisherman here at the Sea of Galilee. Extraordinary person. James, the son of Zebedee remembered around the world today. You know, we ponder Peter a lot, obviously, for good reason. 
and the dramatic denial of Jesus that he that he lived through, experienced in his social standing in front of people who wanted to relate him to Jesus who was going to be crucified. And he said, no, I know nothing about the guy. Tremendously dramatic moment, revealing a lot. The human weakness and, and yesterday we were in Banias and seeing how God can make rock, solid rock, out of a person like this, you know? Mary Magdalene that had so many issues, so many challenges, so many problems. We don't know exactly what they were. Was really bothered by evil. And she became the first witness of the resurrection. And today we have a son of thunder. That's what they were nicknamed, these two brothers. Ambitious, wanting things for themselves. Just amazing. Amazing. Here, another youth event with the launching and sailing yesterday of the rafts with all their colorful different flags, which I didn't see because we were out with our group. Today we're off to Haifa and Echo Acre. Stella Maris. So much going on and each person being transformed along the way little by little. Some of it visible, some of it expressed by in-person conversations. Some people pondering, taking time to ponder, process. So as we look at, at James today, and these guys just here, raw guys from reality life here in the real life here in the Sea of Galilee, called and they made such a difference in the world. The psalm chosen is, those who sow in tears will reap rejoicing. All of them were martyred. And without them and their transformation that they allowed to happen in their hearts with the power of grace, we wouldn't be having our youth fest. The church wouldn't have happened. We'd all be forgotten. role each one of us happens as we're also being transformed in our lifetimes through our difficulties and challenges our ambitions our brokenness and the marvelous plan God has we often do go out sowing in tears reaping rejoicing it's a very wonderful psalm Think of immigrants, workers. Psalm 126, one of the Psalms of going up to Jerusalem. And that beautiful word today in the gospel, you shall not treat each other harshly. Don't lord it over each other. The opposite is to lay down your life, even for those who are against us. People, we leave it like that for today. God bless you. See you later, alligators. Pray for us. Pray for all this activity that's going on here in Magla these days. God bless you.